This is Tailgate Talk, presented by Tarpon Blue. Let's take a ride. In this series, we're going to show you everything Texas and its surrounding southern states has to offer, right here from our very own tailgate. We'll take you from life on the farm and the ranch to the big city lights. This is Tailgate Talk. Come along for the ride. Hi, I'm Darla Wallace, and this is Bob Long with the Father Christmas Shop, and we want to welcome you this week to our Tailgate Talk. Um, Bob is going to tell us a little bit about what you see around us. Okay. Well, first, uh, let me introduce my name is Bob Long with my brother Tom. We both own the store. This is our third season in Seguin. We're originally from Victoria. And back then, we owned the Pier 1 Imports franchise store, the only one in Texas at that time back in the early 70s and 80s. Evolved into a store called Shop the World, which was in Victoria. And then we had a store in Rockport, uh, Shop the World, too. And then both stores were sold, and now we're here in Seguin only as a store called Father Christmas Shop. But our passion has always been Christmas. Tom, my brother, does all the design work. Even when we were a Pier 1 back in the 70s and early 80s, we still we were always really concentrated on Christmas because that's what we're known for. And just throughout the years, we just wanted to become a Christmas store. So when we sold our store in Victoria in 2019, we wanted to put a Christmas store in the Hill Country. So we looked at Fredericksburg, we looked at Braunfels, Comfort, Bernie, really couldn't see anything. And then we just came back through, coming back through Victoria, went through Seguin and saw this building for lease. And here we are. So that's what brought you to Seguin. You just drove through town and right. said, hey, this is where I want to be. Yeah, because we really didn't, you know, we, I went to school at Texas State, well, Southwest. And, you know, just really never went to Seguin, never really came through. And just, like I said, coming back through New Braunfels on the way back and stopped in Seguin and looked and we found this building. Very nice. And that's what we're here now. And so, as your roles between mm-hmm. you and your brother, so right. you said, what is your role and what is his again? Okay, his is decorating. He does all different type of theme trees. That's what we're known for. Mm-hmm. Even in Victoria, when we were Shop the World, we were still known as the, you know, we, we were like Pier One almost. You know, we carried home decor, furniture, wicker, rattan, right. uh, and Christmas. But our always strong point was Christmas. So, Tom did all the decorating then, and he does the decorating now. And that's what I think draws people to Seguin is our trees, because you really won't see them anywhere else no, in our I area. He, he goes over the top and does really well design work. Me, I'm more of a salesperson. I do more like the back paperwork and just try to do everything in between, but Tom does mainly all the decorating. Oh, very nice. Mm-hmm. So, you tell me this, sure. when you, when you see people come into your store, mm-hmm. are there like people that come from all over? Do you see yes. them from everywhere? Or are they well, just when we first opened in 2020, areas? we opened right during COVID 2020. And we first the first year was more like people like Seguin and New Braunfels. Right. Now, since it's our third season coming up here, we're seeing more people from San Antonio and from Seguin, New Braunfels, and the outlying areas. Right. And we still get a lot of people coming in from out of state, which is, I guess, they're traveling through or on vacation. Right. And we do actually have some people coming from other countries like England and uh, Australia and New Zealand. I guess they're just on vacation and coming through. And they see the trees from outside, and right. that's what brings them in. I know. We see people walk in every day, all day long. Yes. It is amazing yes. to watch because we have the glass in the front right. we're right next door and right. we see people walk in and out, in and out. Right. It is, it well, is. I think that's what brings people in there. They come to experience, you know, there's other Christmas stores out there, but they don't decorate like we do. We go all out and I think yes, that's what brings they're... people into our store is to look at the decorations, get mm-hmm. ideas. Mm-hmm. and. And you do, um, you've done some decorating around town as well Correct. for other businesses. We did the Burnt Bean Restaurant. Right. Uh, Beverly Wood, one of our designers, she did the Pecan Town. She uh-huh. did that one. And then we did um, Las Cucas, Mexican restaurant right. over on I-10. Right. We did uh, just what they had on their uh-huh. supplies on their end. And then we do some people's homes on the side. And your brother's going to come help us out because evidently our tree is yes. pretty scary He over said there. he would, yes. <laughs> 
Don't Actually, get me, I can't decorate, but he can. Yeah. So, which, tell me which tree in this place gives you the most, I mean, like, people come in and they're like, oh my goodness. Is there one particular that tree? That gets the most attention? Yes. The Wizard of Oz tree. The Wizard of Oz. Uh, it's our third, I don't know why, it's just people come in and they just gravitate toward that tree. Of course, the honey tree in the back is mm -hmm. number two. Yep. Uh, but per, per sales, what we sell more off any tree is the Wizard of Oz. Wow. Third season running. I don't know why, but it just oh, does. And then, and then you know, amazing. we have the candy tree, we have the gingerbread tree, peacock, and then we have the elf, and then we have the religious tree. Uh, but And then, of course, you know, this year we did the tropical tree, which a lot of people like that. That one is, that. I mean, the birds in that tree are just That's amazing. something you see, like, in Jimmy Buffett, Margarita, though. That, we talked about uh -huh. that when we were in here last or time. Or, like, in a Florida hotel. I think someone had said that they had seen the Jimmy Buffett tree right. in, one, in one of our one yeah. of our agents mm -hmm. and said, man, that which reminds exactly. me of that. Exactly, it does. Yeah. And a lot of people like that. Some people say, oh, it doesn't look Christmas, but, but most people like it because yeah. it's, it's something different. Very good. Well, so if someone wants to find you, mm -hmm. um, where can they find you? Website, social media, uh, what, what are your Website, pages? fatherchristmasshop.com. Okay. We have Instagram. Uh, we, you know, we're on Google, uh, Facebook. Uh, you know, phone, uh, not phone, but social media. Just type okay. in Father Christmas Shops again, right. and they'll find us. And now you'll be on our YouTube channel. Great. Tailgate talk. Great. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, thank, you thank you and your brother as well for letting us do this. Um, thank you very much for yes. um, being on this week's episode of oh, Tailgate great. Talk. Well, I appreciate y'all interviewing us and I'd like to say it's great to have good neighbors. All right. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. We'll see you next time on Tailgate Talk. Thanks for tuning in today and thank you to our guests for sharing their story. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you next time on Tailgate Talk. Talk.